guys welcome back to my channel for today's video i will be sharing my best and worst purchases of 2020 with you guys i have spent uh, quite amounts of money on things this year i'm not proud to say that but a lot of the things that i purchased were great and are things that are going to be with me for years to come but i have made some bad decisions this past year so i thought it'd be fun to create a whole video and i think i'm going to start with the worst purchases and then end the video on a good note with my best purchases so we are just going to start and the first first purchase that i've made is a really annoying purchase I loved it at first, but then it just turned out to be a disaster, and that's my silk box bracelet. I can't show it to you guys because I lost it, and it's not my fault that I lost it. I lost it twice. The first time that I lost it, I actually lost it when I was taking off a shirt, a sweater, I don't know what I was taking off, and the bracelet kind of just fell off. It took me about two days to find it laying on the floor in my closet, and once I found it, I looked at it, and it looked like the, uh, the claps of the bracelet was dented and it wasn't closing all the way so I contacted Rai and Oro and they told me to send it to them and they'll fix it so I was like okay cool they're going to fix it it'll be fine I got it back like two weeks later I put it on and within the week it was gone from my arm already so I have no idea where it's at and this is probably my worst purchase. My husband told me not to get this bracelet because he said it was going to break easily since it was so thin and that I was just going to end up losing it and he was right. So it wasn't super expensive. It was $110 um, but obviously it bugs me because I really did love this bracelet and to spend $110 on something that you're never going to see again it still hurts even if it's not like $1,000 it still hurts. And then you'll notice that in this video I will be mentioning a lot of furniture and home decor pieces. I went a little crazy this year buying a lot of things for our apartment just because obviously we were spending so much time here more time than usual like when we were both working full-time jobs we really weren't home a lot so i didn't really spice up the apartment like i probably should have and i did make a couple mistakes and the first mistake was that i bought some artwork from the brand the senio the senio i'm saying in spanish and the artwork is perfectly fine. I think it's great quality, but I just never hung it up. And it's not just sitting in my closet collecting dust. I say it's a worst purchase because I haven't used it at all. I literally have no place where I want to hang it in this apartment. But I think once we move and once I have my own office that it will look great in my office. But the artwork was only... $47.85 so it wasn't too bad and I have hopes that I will use it in our new place hopefully fingers crossed <laughs> and then the next item or items were decorative pillows I had a old crusty black faux leather couch and I never bought that couch it actually belonged to the people that lived in this apartment before us and when we moved here they offered to leave the couch because they were going into a new house and they were buying new furniture and whatever. I hated this couch, but my husband loved it. So I was like, you know what? Fine, you're right. We're not. Why spend a lot of money on a new couch when we can just stick with this one? I was like, let me try to spice it up. And I bought a bunch of pillows. I don't know the exact price tag because I don't longer have the receipt, but I think I spent around $100 to $120, maybe a little bit more on decorative pillows that are now just collecting dust because... I don't like them and they were quite annoying to have so hopefully i can find someone to just give these pillows away because i don't want to deal with them anymore the third worst purchase of 2020 has been my second mirrored nightstand table so i bought the first mirrored nightstand table about a year ago i think and i didn't buy two because when i bought the first one we had our bed positioned in a different way from what it is now so the way we had our bed in our bedroom you could only fit one nightstand table and at the beginning of 2020 i was like you know what we're gonna stay home i want to change everything up so we moved our bedroom around and the way our bed is positioned now 
we can fit two of the mirrored nightstand tables so i decided to purchase a second one and when i did i was like wait i actually don't like the mirrored style anymore because it's such a big upkeep like having cats that walk all over the <laughs> nice sand table and then your fingerprints and it's just such an upkeep to keep it clean and spotless so i got the second nice sand table and after a month of having it i was like why did i why did we spend that amount of money on a nice sand table when i don't even think i would want to move this to a new apartment so i'm categorizing that as a worst purchase the nice sand table was 255 dollars i mean it works for now it does its job my husband loves it because he gets to put his blue light glasses his book in there it works i just there was no need for us to spend that amount of money on a nice sand table and then my next worst purchase of 2020 i'm actually sitting on right now and it's my desk chair i bought this desk chair because i thought it would look so cute so i started blazing with my imac with my desk with like my furniture in my bedroom and then i felt to realize that it is the most uncomfortable chair to sit in for eight plus hours and it's really causing some back pain so i need to invest in a better chair regardless if it looks good or not the only thing i care about at this point is that my back doesn't hurt the chair was only $102.99, so it wasn't a huge investment, and it serves its purpose. When I bought this chair, there were literally like no desk chairs available. Everything was back order for like a month, two months. And then my next worst purchase was my white rug. And technically, I didn't get this in 2020, but I thought it would be a fun mention regardless. I got a huge white rug that was like faux fur and it was beautiful. I loved it, but I should have known better to not have a white rug around my husband. <laughs> it just did not work well. I spent $119 on the right rug for it to get coffee spilled all over it, and it was such a nuisance to keep up with the rug. So we decided to just get rid of it this past year to the delight of my husband because he hated the rug. And then the last worst purchase of 2020 has been some of my clothing pieces. So I've done a lot of clothing hauls on my channel this past year and a lot of the things that I picked up I love and I use all the time and I wear all the time and I'm always honest in my videos of things that I love and I also tell you guys when I absolutely hate something that I order. So I've gotten better to just ship it back before i would not return anything regardless if i would wear it or not i just hated returning packages i still do but now i know myself a lot better and if i'm like okay i'm not going to wear this or i literally have nowhere to wear this to i just return it so if anyone hates returning packages out there just return the damn package get your money back and it would just feel a lot better and now we can move to the fun part of the video which are my best purchases of 2020 but my first best purchase of 2020 has been my jewelry i've bought quite a bit of jewelry this year and i invested in pieces that are going to last me a very long time and pieces that i can pass on to my future daughter and my future son so i'm really happy with it i bought the cartier love wedding bands technically i bought the rose gold cartier love band in december of 2019 and then i bought the gold cartier love band i think in june of 2020 and i just feel so proud to look down at my hands and seeing that i was able to buy myself the love bands the cartier love bands retail for a thousand and eleven hundred and ten dollars each so i did spend quite a bit on these but again these are rings that i never take off that are so classy so timeless and that i can easily pass on to my kids in the future and then i also bought myself some necklaces that i've always wanted and i've been eyeing these necklaces for a while the first one i bought to match with my bracelet that i lost but it is the, the silk box necklace from rye and the lock on this one is a lot better than the lock on the bracelet this is 14 karat gold 
14 karat rose gold and it retails for $255 and then I also bought the Cuban chain necklace from Rye this one retails for $295 it's real 14 karat it might be 18 karat um rose gold it's a not super thick like other cuban chain necklaces which is why i liked it it's still very dainty even though it's sturdy the lock on this is really nice it hasn't fallen off and i've literally never taken these necklaces off from the moment i bought them and i love them i love how they look together and i think they were such great investment pieces this year and then my next best purchase of 2020 has been my imac which you see right here quite expensive the retail price for an imac is $17.99 and I know that's a hefty price tag, but I love my iMac. It has been a lifesaver when it comes to editing. I've loved using it. I love being able to sit at an actual desk and edit my videos, get some work done. I literally use it every single day from the moment I wake up. So I'm definitely getting my money's worth. There's something about sitting in a chair, sitting at a desk, getting some work done that makes me feel more productive i was like that in college too like instead of going to the library and sitting on a couch or laying on a couch on my laptop i would just go to a desk and work on there using my laptop instead of laying down it just made me feel more productive my next best purchase of 2020 were my avocado pillows so i love these pillows they are non-toxic they're vegan they're organic these are the most comfortable pillows i've ever had and they are quite pricey they're 89 dollars each so in total we spent 178 dollars on these pillows but i see them as an investment i see them lasting for years to come and then my next best purchases of 2020 has been purchasing the tom ford coffee table book and the chanel coffee table book i have loved these pieces and i Feel like i can take them with me wherever i go they are black and white so they go with absolutely everything and they're just so classy and getting pieces that obviously work for my apartment now is great but i also like getting pieces that will work in another apartment or ultimately the house we buy because i don't want to have to buy a bunch of new stuff every single time we move right, the tom ford book was 105 dollars and the chanel book was $20 so I spent about $125 on the books together and the next best purchase has been my mirror so I bought this mirror from CB2 it's the one where I always talk in or sometimes I show you guys pieces that I'm wearing standing in front of the mirror the mirror was pricey it was $399 I love this mirror so much it's gorgeous it looks so classy so aesthetically pleasing in my bedroom and again it's a piece that I can take with me for years to come it's going to be with me for a very long time god forbid it doesn't break or anything have you ever stood in front of a mirror that is horrible quality and it looks like a fun size room mirror it distorts everything this one is perfect and i'm obsessed with it so even though it's pricey i love it and it's definitely been a great purchase and then earlier in the video i mentioned the horrible couch that i hated and that we had when we first moved into this apartment and that couch was falling apart this past summer so we had enough or i had enough and i was like i'm going to buy a couch that i want and I feel like it's cliche to say at this point because every YouTuber loves the cloud couch from Restoration Hardware and I love that couch but there's no way that we would spend $10,000 and up on a couch, no way, especially when we have cats and we want to have kids in the future. Like no so i went online and i literally googled restoration hardware cloud couch dupes and i found the couch that i have now it looks like the cloud couch but one it's gray i decided on gray because i think it's still a great neutral color that will look great in any house or any apartment so our couch was around two thousand dollars which is still pricey for a couch but it's 
so freaking comfortable and it literally feels like you're laying on a cloud and i love the look of it and i love that you can also add on to the couch honestly i could have gotten away with not getting so many pieces i think i got four pieces of our couch and for our small living room it probably would have been better to only get like three pieces i if i had done that i would have only spent around 1500 but i did the measurements wrong so I bought four pieces instead of three and that's okay because it would be perfect for our next home and I can move the pieces around to change the layout of the couch which I really love and I'm obsessed with my couch I would make that purchase all over again in a heartbeat and then my next best purchases of 2020 kind of go hand in hand together so i included them in the same number and it is my white ceramic vase from west am and my pompous grass that you see behind me i love these two items i just think they add a really nice homey feel to my bedroom which i love and the west am ceramic vase was 175 dollars but i spent days looking for a good vase that would hold my pompous grass and i just couldn't find the right piece so i kept going back to the west am website and i decided to just buy the vase even though it's so pricey for what it is but i love it it is freaking huge and again it's a white ceramic vase that i can literally take with me for years to come it will look great in any setting which is why i love getting like neutral color pieces i'm not really into statement pieces because i feel like i would get tired of those statement pieces so quickly like the mirror nightstand tables I'm over it and I don't like them <laughs> as much as I did when I first got them. And these pompous grass are so cute, so homey, so I will have them for years to come too. The pompous or pompous, I don't even know how you pronounce them, were $148.75. I got them from Etsy, super nice quality. You know when you buy something that you love and every time you look at it you smile? That's what I do when I look at these so freaking cute and then the last fast purchase of 2020 has been experiences and i don't really have a price tag for this one just because i didn't feel like going over my receipts and adding everything up i also don't want to add everything up like for example when my sister chrissy came down for my birthday we spent a lot of money on showing her around on going to escape rooms on going to restaurants and when my husband and i went to visit her in puerto rico again we splurged on the hotel we were staying at we splurged on the activities that we did i think i'm getting to the point in my life where i value experiences more versus materialistic things like obviously i'm not going to sit here and say that i live a minimalistic life because i don't i do like having nice things I prefer having fun and spending time with my loved ones regardless of how much it will cost me versus saving up for a furniture piece or whatever it is or buying designer bags or designer clothing but I don't take any of those experiences back I don't regret it at all and I'm so glad that we were fortunate enough to do that because I know 2020 has been a rough year for everyone and, and I just thought this would be a fun video to film I don't mean to brag on how much money i spent or anything like that it's just content you guys so i hope you don't take it too seriously and i hope you learn from my mistakes definitely take the time to think about your purchases don't do it spontaneously give it a few days and if you want it as badly as you wanted the first time you came across the item and then buy it but if you don't then that is your sign that you don't need it i hope you guys enjoyed this video i would love to know in the comments below what's one of your best purchases of 2020 and what's one of your worst purchases of 2020 i would love to know and i'm kind of interested to see what people bought this past year and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe i would love to have you a part of my channel and i'll see you guys tomorrow Bye, guys.